Hi. So today I want to talk to you about some unique features in Boom that you may not know about. Boom is an amazing platform that allows for self-checking digital resources for your kids. And with the Boom membership, that is only $15 a year, you get those reports features, which for me make Boom totally the best platform out there. But there's something not many people know about with Boom. So if you have some decks, let's say you particularly have some sight word decks, and those sight word decks have, you know, 30, 40, maybe 50 words in them. I don't really know of a teacher who's going to assign 30 to 40 sight words at a time. Unless it's a review, you don't necessarily want your kids having that much information in front of them. So there is a feature on Boom where you can go in and hide cards. So you can pick and choose. So let's say with sight words, you're just focusing, it's the beginning of the year, and you're focusing on like the and see and is, right? And you have a deck that has those words and 30 other words. You can go in and you can delete the slides that you don't want them to have. So if the word is there or little or funny and you haven't gotten to that yet, you can hide them. And then your kids only see the decks that you want them to. It's a great way to take a really large deck that you have and break it into small little pieces so that you can assign it, you know, for weeks at a time, for the whole year. So I'm going to show you on my screen how you can very easily go in and hide those slides that you don't want your kids to see. So come on over to my um, laptop and I will show you how to do that. So once you start using Boom, you can start to kind of dig deep into the features that they have. This is one of the features that I really like. It's called hiding cards. So here we are at the front page of Boom and you want to go up to your library I love this one for sight words. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to search my library for sight words. And I'm going to use this deck right here. So I'm going to go to the blue action button. You click on that. And first off, I want to assign it. And I'm going to assign it to this test class. Okay, all assigned. Now, again, this is where you make your fast pin, where you can make your hyperplay link. You can print out these cards as well. I would never waste my ink on printing out these cards, but some people might have lots of colored ink and are wanting to do that. Not for me, but maybe for you. Now, this is what we're going to talk about today. Hide cards. So you're going to click on that, and you're going to say, yes, I want to hide cards. Now, especially with sight words, I might want my kids to only be working on a couple of sight words a week. So this week, let's say I want my kids to work on the, C you and is. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to skip. I want C. I'm going to skip it. Look. I don't want look. Hide it. Go to the next one and big. Nope. I don't want them working on big. Hide it. Go to the next one. Jump. Nope. Not this week. Hide it. Next. And you can go right through, yep, I want you. So I'm gonna keep going. Um, and you just can go through and hide your cards as many as you want. I like it because it really can control how many cards your kids have. Now, if you made a mistake or you're not sure what you've done, you can come up to the overview button and click that. And it will show you all the cards. So you can say, um, oh, yeah, no, you know what? I wanted them to work on three. You click it and you say unhide. And then three is right back. So you can either just skip through these and hide them pretty quickly. Or you can um, look at the overview button and do the same thing. Say, oh, yeah, I want to hide that one. So that's a way to hide them. I'm going to go through and hide all my cards except for four, and then I'll show you what it looks like. 
So I've gone through and I have gone ahead and hidden all these cards. I just want to make sure that I only have the four up. Here's that three. I don't want three. So I'm going to make sure I hide that card. Great. Go back to the overview. The C U is perfect. That's what I wanted. I wanted to have that. Now again, remember if you have a uh, um, a card that's hidden, you can always click on it and you can unhide that card so that it's back. So now let me show you what it looks like um, for when your student logs in. Okay, so I'm going to sign in as my student. And here's Della, and I'm going to sign in. And here are my decks that have been assigned, and here's that sight word deck. So if I click on that, you can see there's only four cards in here. So I know, spell the word C, that my students are only going to work on those four cards. They're the ones that I specifically wanted them to work on this week. And that way you can take a deck that might have 40 sight words and you can use that for many days um, and weeks really in the year. So you can see now I'm done. I just had four and I got them all correct. And so this is particularly good with sight words because if you only want to give them a couple of sight words at a time, then this is a great way to do that. So give it a try. Um, I know you have some sight word decks in your um, library. So go in and, and try to play around with it. I'll show you one more time very quickly how you do it. I always like to see things a couple of times. So I'm going to sign back in as myself. And again, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your library. You're going to put in sight words or whatever you, you know you might want to do. And you're going to go find the deck you want to assign. Go to the blue action button. Say hide cards. And then you're going to come up and you're going to hit overview. You can see all the cards here and you can easily um, hide them. If you have hidden them, you can unhide them and very quickly go through unhiding them. So that is a great way to um, limit the amount of cards that your kids see. So it's really not that hard. It will take you about five minutes to go in and pick and choose the words or the slides that you want. This is a great feature if you have a deck on maybe addition and subtraction and you only want your kids to have addition or you only want your kids to have subtraction. You can go in and you can manipulate those decks to show them exactly what you want. It's a terrific feature and not a lot of people know about it. So um, go in, give it a try, and see how easy it is. If you Now you know how to delete some or hide some of these slides. So you can check out some great sight word um, resources. I have the links below, and um, it will really be helpful to you.